sort of seems to operate in this way uh, these days, and maybe it's been for a long time where, you know, people sort of talk about the idea of something and feel as though maybe it's priced in, but then you move forward in time and you get to that sort of point where whatever it was, was being talked about and, and assumed to already be priced in is sort of manifest and you get this very significant response in the market. And I think, you know, inflation is an example uh, over the last year and a half, almost two years. And now, you know, the one on the comma, of course, is, is labor. And, you know, so obviously we got Tesla's announcement, um, sort of lower profile, uh, but we got uh, Gemini um, announcing they were laying out 10% of their staff, formalizing what I think everybody already knew, which is that we're now in uh, crypto winter. And um, Coinbase went a step further and said, you know, not only um, are we uh, doing our, our 10% reduction here, but also uh, we're now rescinding all offer letters that have been uh, extended and accepted. Salesforce, which is a massive company, salesforce.com, same thing, you know, like it's like, so it's happening everywhere, but it's not being announced everywhere is because exactly. these are massive like, growth, you know, and, and growth companies. To come back to your sort of original question slash premise, which is, you know, isn't it all priced in? Like that's the part that's so interesting, right? Because I think the reason people have been conditioned to, to sort of ask that question, but really just, you know, posit that assumption is that at this point, when the labor market is starting to deteriorate, you would normally have the Federal Reserve coming in dovish. And again, it bears worth repeating that not only are they not coming in dovish, you know, this is the start of quantitative tightening and we're going to get at least 250 uh, basis point hikes back to back here in a couple of weeks and then about six weeks after that. So, you know, there's 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 no real let up here. Um, the, the labor market's clearly declining. The other data point we got, you know, the way I'm sort of thinking about this, and I thought Christian's early look yesterday did a really good job with this. It's just really chronicling, you know, you talk about deliberate study, like chronicling, you know, the, the data points, right? I mean, that's obviously what we do uh, with our macro now casting process you know, on a quantitative framework, but, you know, it's just becoming so like obvious. And so just right at the surface level, it's not, you know, sort of in these far flung, you know, corners of the economy, it's like right in your face now. And so yesterday we got, um, the you know, new vehicle sales numbers, uh, which I'm sure Jay can add color to, but yeah, I mean, they came in at like 12.8 million. I mean, that's, you know, a level that historically you've seen in recessionary environments, right? And that's down 11% month over month on a seasonally adjusted basis. So, you know, there was some talk about day count and, you know, there being fewer selling days in May versus April, but, you know, it's like, how many sort of things are we going to kind of make excuses for? It's all the same thing. You know, it's all the same bubble because it's not just Gemini firing people and, you know, uh, Coinbase and Tesla. And at some point you're going to get the, the, the Salesforce and then eventually Microsoft. It said the cancellations find the cancellations. You, you get fired at Gemini, you cancel your new Tesla order. Like it's like uh, it's all they all own the same thing, right? It's everyone who's of the bubble crowd is has this, you know, as we've talked about many times, these concentric circles of, of bubbles that make up the entirety of the bubble. Hey there, Hedgeye Nation, or if you're not part of Hedgeye Nation, thanks for watching Hedgeye on YouTube. If you haven't already, make sure to click on the button below there. Subscribe to our YouTube page. You can also follow the link in the description to our website to get even more great investing content.